<gasps> Are we recording? Hi guys, as you can see, today's tutorial is for all my beautiful brides-to-be out there. Hopefully, this will inspire you to choose the perfect updo for your big day. So if you haven't got a clue yet, just keep on watching. I'm prepping the hair by using a good amount of hairspray. This will give the hair a good texture and makes it easy to work with. Next, I'm zigzagging my side part. Now, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I believe this will give my entire look a softer appearance. I'm parting two hair sections on both sides and I'm pinning these away. We are going to use these later on in the updo. Next, I'm making a low ponytail, but as you can see, I'm not pulling the hair all the way through. It's important to keep using the hairspray as you work to keep the hair perfect in place. Here comes the tricky part and you need to be gentle while doing this. Slowly stretch the hair out as much as possible. Use as many bobby pins as you need, just make sure to hide them very well. Next, I'm taking a hair section and I'm crossing these over to the other side of the chignon. You can use as much hairspray as you want. Don't be afraid. Remember, this updo needs to last all day. Complete your look by using your favorite accessory and don't forget to spray a good amount of hairspray one last time to get rid of the flyaways to make sure your updo is ready for the entire day. And ta-da! My favorite updo, the classic Xinyang. For the next look, I'm creating a soft, wavy, old Hollywood style. I'm using a big barrel and I'm twisting the hair away from my face. All the hair sections in the same direction. To make sure the section doesn't get too curly, I'm keeping it less than 10 seconds around the barrel. Before brushing the hair out, I'm using a good amount of hairspray to set everything perfect in place and to prep the hair for the hairstyle. With a brush, I'm brushing the hair out and I'm taking my time to do this. I want a very soft and natural look. No rush, take your time while brushing these curls out. Using my fingers, I'm putting everything perfect in place. I don't use too much tools while doing this because this might cause a lot of frizz or you'll end up ruining the curl. Now, if you're happy with the results, you can keep this as it is, but I'm going for the one side look today. So I'm brushing gently everything to one side. And to make sure it stays in this position, I'm using two bobby pins and I'm crossing these over each other. This will keep the hair perfect in place. I'm finishing off by using my favorite hair accessory and I think this one goes perfect with this look. This is also one of my favorite looks. It's so soft, so romantic and it's so feminine and I think it adds a lot of glamour to the entire look. The classic bun never goes out of fashion, that's why I decided to include it in today's tutorial. First, I'm parting the top hair section. Second, I'm giving it a little push towards the forehead to create some volume and setting it in place with bobby pins. The rest of the hair goes in a high ponytail. Now make sure you use some good hair elastics and if needed, use two. 
everything to keep this high ponytail perfect in place. I'm twisting the ponytail and by doing this I'm creating the classic bun that I needed for this look. Side note, make sure to choose the right hairspray when you're doing an updo. I'm using one that gives a great hold yet it doesn't make the hair look too stiff or too crunchy. The effortless classic bun is always a good idea if you want to keep it very simple yet very chic and sophisticated. My next hairstyle is very authentic, romantic and Roman inspired. I already zigzagged the middle part as you can see and I am pinning the side part temporary away. To create the bubbles for this look, simply twist a part of the hair section around your finger, leaving the ends out, and pin this in place using bobby pins. <laughs> 